Welcome back to your math video. I am your math teacher, Jeevita. In the last class, we learned addition. We recap what we learned in first standard. We also saw how we add vertically, horizontally also. And you also learned how to carry over your number. Today, we will be continuing the same but with little changes. Like this, in the last class, you learned addition of one digit, two digits. You learned addition of one digit and two digits. Today, we will be learning addition of three digits where you have hundred place also. So, how many places are here? One, ten, hundred. Three places. That is why the number which has three is called three digits. Number which has all the three places are called three digit number. Today we will be adding three digit number and also we will do carry over sum. So let's go for the activity and check out. So let's start the activity now. So in the previous activity what did we do? We added only ones and tens digits. Now we are going to add hundreds place also. So we are going to add three digits now. So you know for ones place we use the small blocks. For tens place we use the yellow blocks. And now for hundreds place we will be using this green block. In this you have hundred boxes. You count here. You have hundred boxes. So we are going to use this for hundred blocks. So let's start. First verb in which place we should start? From one's place. Now keep eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extra how many you should add now? One. So one. After eight, nine. So what is my answer here? Nine. Now go for tens please. So I should take four. One, two, three, four. So I have four tens. How many extra I should add now? Two more. So let's add two more. So after four, five, six. So my answer here is six. Next. Now go for hundreds. How many you have? First you have six hundred. One, two, three. Then you have four, four. Five, six. Six hundreds here. Okay. How many hundreds more I should add? One. So after six, adding one. After six, seven. So you have seven as your answer. So what is the answer now? Seven hundred and sixty. Nine seven hundred and sixty nine is my answer. Seven hundred and sixty nine. So let's do one more sum of the same type. Yes. So let's add now. 0 plus 7. So 0. I don't have anything up. Now I should add 7. So after 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So totally I have 7 as my answer. 
Next, I have eight ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens I have here. How many I should add now? One more. So after eight, add one more. Nine. So my answer is nine. How many four hundred? How many hundreds? Four hundred. One, two, three, four. How much should I add more? One. So let's add one hundred. So how much becomes? One, two, three, four, and five. Totally, I have five hundreds. So answer here is 5. So now we have learned addition of 3 digits. Okay. Now we are going to do something different. Let's see now. I am not going to take 100's place. Let's learn with only 1's and 10's place now. Taking number 5858, add it with 2424. So, children, now let's start keeping it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8. I have 8 blocks. Now how many I should add? I should add 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Totally how many I have now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 I have. So you know that if I have 10 blocks, Instead of this 10 blocks, I can use one 10 yellow block now, right? Both are same. I have 10 small, small blocks that is equal to yellow 10 block here. So what I'll do, I'll take off this 10 and I'm going to add this one in the 10 place here. Okay, that means this 10 I have kept it in 10 place. Okay. Now, how many is left here? I have only two. So, I am going to keep my answers two here. And what I have done? I have taken one extra in tens place. This one I have to take carry over. This is called carry over. Means I am carrying this ten and keeping it over the next place here. Okay. So, I have one tens block. So, only I have kept one here. Now, let's add. So, this is 1. Carry over. Now, let's add the next 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5. Next, I have 2. So, let's say 1, 2. Now, totally how many yellow blocks I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8. So, totally I have 8 yellow blocks. So, my answer here is 8282. What is the new thing you learned here children? I carried 10 small small blocks and I kept 1 yellow block in the 10th place as carry over. This is what you are going to learn new today. So, let us try one more sum of the same type. Eight two eighty two with two nine twenty nine. So let's start two blocks. 
and down I have nine. So nine. Let us keep nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Now totally how many I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven I have. And what should I do when I get ten small small blocks? I should remove this ten block, this ten small small blocks, and keep one yellow block in my tens place. So how many yellow blocks I kept? Only one, no? So that I'll keep here. Carry over number, okay? Now let's add up tens place. So what is the answer you get in ones place here? Only one. What is remaining here is one, so I'll keep one. Next, so now let's add up one yellow block you already have here. Next, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight blocks here. Next, two more. One. Two, two more items. So totally, how many you have? Let's add up. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So eleven. What I'll do now? 11 are here, no? So first, let me take off 10 out of this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This 10 yellow blocks is equal to 100 blocks. So what I'll do, instead of keeping this 10 small small blocks, I'll take this off and I'll keep 1 in 100 place. Okay, so 1 in 100 place. You know next you get 100 here. 100. So I keep 1 in 100 place. That is 100. Now how many have left in 10 place? Only 1. So keep 1 in 10 place. And here when you add this 100 here extra what you have here? Only 100. So this 100 comes here. So what is the answer? 111. If you see in this blocks also, 100, 110, 11, 111. So let us go for one more example. Easier one. Eighteen plus. 29. So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 here. Next, I should keep 9 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now totally how much I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have 10 small blocks now. So remove this 10 blocks. Carry over 1 tens in tens place. So let's keep the carry over. Finished. So how many you have remaining in one's place? Seven. Now let's add tens place. One ten. One more ten. And two more. So count how many tens you have? One, two, three, four. Four tens. Four tens. So my answer is four, seven, forty-seven. So same sounds, now we will go to classwork part and check it out children, how to write it in classwork. 
So in the class work part, all of you open your desk book, page number 120. Take your class work, pencil and your eraser. We will be doing the sums in the test book children. This sums, I want you to try it. I will do these sums in the class workbook. That is be me. So all of you open the fresh page. That is new page in your class work. And write heading for me. Right? Addition. A D D I T I O N Addition. So let's write the first question. I'll copy the same question which is in the test book. See children, write 623 in one box only. One box. Next box, write plus. Next box. 275 in one box. This we are going to add now. See this is which type of addition? Horizontal because all are in sleeping line. Write equals to and put a dash. We will find the answer. What we will do this? We write it in a horizontal sorry vertical form. So you have three numbers. So leave this line, write O or from the first you can write. Leave one box, write H, T, O. Now write the numbers below here. 6, 2, 3 in each one in each box. Next 2, 7, 5. Where should I write addition sign? Near the second number. Now write Sleeping line. Add children now. So, in the last class, we did addition using this line. Now, I will teach you how you should do using your fingers. Okay. So, take this. Three. Open three finger. One, two, three. Next, you have five. So, now count five. Okay, children. One, two, three, four, five. Totally how many fingers you have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my answer is eight here. Let's do the next one. First I should open two fingers. Open one, two. Next, how many fingers I should open? 7. Now count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now count all the fingers which you have opened. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 is my answer. Next, 6 plus 2. First, you should open 6 fingers. Then, you should open 2. 1, 2. Now, count how many fingers you have opened. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8. Now, tell me what is the answer. 898. Right, 898. So, let us do one more sum like this. Leave one line, write the second question. 317 plus 461. Here only I write small equals to and write my answer children. So, let's start. Write H T O and write the numbers 3, 1, 7, 4, 6, 1. Write plus. Now add 
from one's place first open seven fingers now open one more finger now count how many fingers you have opened 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 Now tens please Open one finger Okay Open one finger Next open six 1,2,3,4,5,6 Now count how many you have 7 fingers open Next, hundreds please. First open three fingers. One, two, three. Now open again four fingers. One, two, three, four. Now count how many fingers you have opened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So what's my answer? Seven hundred and seventy-eight. Write that. Seven hundred and seventy-eight. Go to the next page. Now we will be doing carryover sums, which is in page number 122. Let me take this as third question. Okay, in next page, right? 24 plus 58. So let's start finding the answers. Right equals to dash. There are two numbers. So write T, O. See, I am leaving one line. The next line, I am leaving two box and writing T, O. Now write the numbers below. 2, 4, 24. Plus here. Next, 5, 8, 58. Now let's add this. So you can use this lines children because you have two numbers. I can write lines this side also, this side also. Here we had three numbers. We cannot write line for the middle one. So we use fingers. So let us use lines here. Okay children. So first I have four lines. One, two, three, four. Next I have eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See when I get 10 what I'll do? I'll scratch this all the 10 lines. Immediately write 1 in 10's place. I should keep 1 no yellow block that one. Next count how much is remaining now. 1, 2. So, I'll write 2 here. Okay. Next. Now, 1. Now, let's add 10's place. 1 line. Next, 2 lines. Next, I have 5 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's count all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 here. 8 to 82. See, the number which I scratched and carried here, I have circled to show that is carry over. Okay. Now, let's go for the next sum. Fourth one. Question is 6, 3, 63 plus 1, 9, 19 is equals to dash. So, let's write it in one tense. That is in vertical form. 6, 3 plus 1, 9. Answer. Let's draw the lines. 1, 2, 3. Next. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So count when you get 10, scratch and carry. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, got 10. So I scratch these lines which I counted.
carry one now continue counting one two so i have two here let's count tens please one next again one two three four five six and one now count how many lines one two three four five six seven eight so eight lines my answer is again eight two eighty two so i hope you have understood addition of three num three digit numbers and also addition of carry over let us discuss uh, this in interactive class also if you have any doubts Thank you children. Bye-bye.